Jolly Rouge Tattoo Studio. Where is that based? That's based on Caledonian Road in King's Cross. In London. King's Cross, London. Excellent. Um, I suppose what was your initial inspiration to become a tattoo artist? I wanted to do a job that was creative and where I didn't need to be sat behind a desk all day and I was getting interested in getting tattooed myself and I was really interested in the process and I was you know starting to see tattoos that were a bit more artistic you know yeah. and like a bit more interesting and that was that caught my interest basically and I did yeah, just decided I wanted to be a tattooist left college to be a tattooist so yeah and how did you get into it I mean did you get an apprentice or an I, apprenticeship I got an apprenticeship or? eventually like I, I did reception in a studio for a while um, and then I after about eight or nine months I got an apprenticeship with Dan Gold and uh, so I apprenticed with him uh, was King's Cross Tattooing originally but it's mm. closed now so yeah Yes. And um, how was your experience as an apprentice with uh, with Dan Gold? It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. Um, I you could say he had more of the kind of sink or swim method of teaching. Okay. You know? And I, I'd already tattooed quite a lot, and I was doing quite well, so I was more. Really, I don't know, I had a couple of months where I was sort of, you know, reined in a bit and then yeah. I was pretty much just given the opportunity to work and to watch. That was that was what you did learning from Dan really, you got to watch and you know, he can do amazing things. So yeah, it was it was cool, it was nice to do. And how long have you been tattooing? For about six weeks now. And how's uh, what's the highlight in your career been so far? Um, actually I'm having a pretty good weekend this weekend. It's the Brilliant. first time I've actually had my own booth at a convention. Uh, I've worked at the shop before, yeah. but this is like, you know, the first time I'm doing it properly myself and everyone's super friendly and want to get tattooed and yeah, it's just really cool. I'm having a good time. So yeah, everything's pretty good now and I'm working at a really nice shop now as well. So it's, yeah, it's all yeah. pretty good. Yeah. And in your estimation, how many um, tattoo tattoos do you reckon are female? What, here? Or? Um, yeah, and within the UK, possibly. God, I don't know about within the UK, but I mean, it seems to me like it's more and more like in the studio I work at, there's two female tattooists, which in London is mm. pretty good going, really, you know. Um, well, I think most studios now will have at least one, you know, one female tattooist. Um, and in the convention there seems to be quite a lot, like I haven't had much of a chance to really walk around yet. I'm going to do that today, so yeah. check out uh, who's here and stuff. And yeah. would the female tattoo artists that you work with, would you have a kind of a sense of community with them? Like, you know, yeah, we're good. Well, I do with the, the one that I work with, yeah, yeah but I mean, I found it really strange that, you know, there is, I suppose because there's less female tattoos, maybe some can be a little standoffish which you know i'm not really i was like yeah female solidarity yeah. would be great and then like you can meet some people that are pretty frosty you know and it's like well at the end of the day if you know you're doing good work then you've got nothing to worry about there's always going to be people coming to get tattooed there's enough work to go around so would you say sometimes that gender has been like you know a little bit of a to be honest i found it more of a positive thing really in terms yeah. of working and i found it a bit challenging at the start because I would find that, you know, I'd be upstairs in the studio and people would come in and just assume I was a receptionist. And yeah. they, older guys, usually, to be honest, and they wouldn't want to, they would talk to me and then they'd turn around and have the same conversation with someone that's a guy, but he's been tattooing like three years less than me or something, and they'd be like, actually, she's the one that would be doing it. So, and then, but I mean, like, the way I look at it is if people have, um, preconception of what they think you're going to be like as a female tattooist and then they get tattooed by you and you do something that's shit hot and they end up coming back to you time yeah. and time again and you've proven them wrong and you know I mean that's that's all you can do you just do the best you can do and that's it really you know so but you're happy it's been a positive with, thing for me I think like, and you're happy with how like, the amount of female females that are looking for apprenticeships now. I think it's brilliant, yeah, yeah I think it's good. Um, I'm all for, you know, equal kind of rights, opportunities and the rest, and I think, yeah, I don't see why it should be something that's like a male-dominated industry. And I think also the one thing that is good is that, you know, a lot of people, or a lot of women, I suppose, maybe feel more comfortable having a female tattooist or having the option to have yeah. a female tattooist. Um, as well, I suppose, a, a lot of women would kind of be like, yeah, like a tattoo breaker. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because um, I actually just like a couple of months ago was the first time I'd been tattooed by a woman myself. Really? And I got, yeah, I got these like diamonds on my legs and uh, it was wicked, you know, it was great. I, I had a really positive experience and she's really good at what she does and like, 
so that was cool, and I was just like, yeah, everyone should get tattooed for women. Excellent, and in relation to your own tattoos, I mean, what yeah. is your, your inspiration behind them? Um, all kinds of different things. Uh, this is in progress at the moment with Camille, uh, who's based in London as well, and I love that, I just wanted some I like the idea of masks and I don't know I guess people will kind of only show you what they want you to see and like, there's a lot about tattoos that's to do with presenting a certain image of yourself or what so you that'd be your relationship between yourself and your tattoos and kind of yeah. kind of but I just I like that as a theme anyway and uh, actually the, the style of masks which is more comic book that I really like yeah. Um, and yeah I don't know I like sci-fi stuff that was by Dan and Gold and um like yeah, I, I, I want to get a lot of stuff done this year actually. So How far do you think you, you'd go in terms of? I've um, never put a limit on it. I've never. Really? I was never one of those people that went to get you know like the first tattoo and I was like right, first and the only. I was like no, I like this. I'm gonna get more. Cool. Do you <laughs> yeah. think you go as far as getting more of your hands drawn? Yeah, I reckon face, so. I mean, neck. I'm always like I don't really know what I would want for my hands, so I couldn't say what I would get. But I have. You know, lands for certain bits. I'm gonna finish my ribs, I'm gonna do my stomach, I'm gonna do my yeah. feet. So I've got, you know, there's always something in the back of my mind. But the way I look at it, I've only been working like six years uh, professionally now, and I'm hoping I'm gonna have a nice long career ahead of me, and I'm gonna work with really good artists. So I don't want to fill up too quickly. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you want to yeah, leave, leave it open, and that way, um, you know, it's nice when you if you work with someone whose work you like, you can learn a lot from them that way as well. And, yeah, it's cool. It's a good way to get tattooed. So. Great. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat to us and best luck. The studio is called Jolly Rouge Tattoo Studio. Um, it is in Caledonian Road, King's Cross, London. Uh, come and have a look. Check us out on MySpace. I can't remember the link. <laughs> Check us out on MySpace. We type it in, then it will come up. And uh, yeah, come say hello. That's it. Thank you for having me, Tattoo TV. <laughs> Yay.